welcome everyone. So as as we, we we share many times also that satsang is a decision to live the truth. Satsang is actually not primarily a place to discuss about truth. Or at all, if it is to discuss about truth, it is with the intention to live it right now. You know, not to just take some answers and then, you know, like this. But uh, that also happens and I'm okay with that. But I just want to let you know that this is the highest possibility in satsang here, that you can live the truth right now. Truth is not uh, something that uh, needs some work on it before you can taste it right now. If at all any work is needed, it must be in you, in your decision, in your hesitation, that, hey, how can I live that truth? In your beliefs also, truth is always the way it is. Truth has always been the way it is, actually. So, anyone feel you, can, you want my help, please talk to me. That you told on two days before that when we are here, until it's a good opportunity to recognize and establish in this place. Yes. So I'm feeling that I can feel that to explore it more and more. And be here to block. This is what Yes. How nice. How nice. Then just try to correct your attitude, understanding and, you know, based on that your focus will also be corrected more and more by itself. So like try to make so as much clear as possible between us right now and whenever we are, you know, having any talk like this. That uh, anything that you are experiencing right now, we only talk about right now because what is not right now is what is mind model, like a created reality. So we don't touch that. For the investigation and exploration of truth, we don't have to touch mind at all. Like mind has nothing to give to us here. So what happened has nothing to do with us. What is going to happen also right now. So anything that you are experiencing right now is only possible because you are no you cannot experience if you don't exist right now no? so you are giving value to what you are experiencing it is habit you now give value to yourself who is experiencing it this is self-recognition and waking up By the, by the power of truth, power of masters, it is possible right now to turn your attention. Yeah. Are you having some experience right now of, of focusing on yourself? Because focusing, it produces some experience like this. What tell me what is that? It's kind of a picture gets blurred in front of the camera. Yes, Pic picture get, gets blurred. And then space, like you can't kind of feel spaciousness. Yes, so this feeling of spaciousness is the experience you are having right now. And your relationship with this still remains exactly the same. So keep your focus on yourself, not spaciousness. 
no now what are you experiencing that's so that's all right but is your relation changing with with this with anything that you are experiencing like picture is changing but is your relation with the picture changing no this thing this is the you can say beginning of self recognition that my relation with anything that i am experiencing is not changing then why i am so concerned about the experiences right now whereas this is the time to recognize myself and live myself not the experiences no no what i mean and do you see this now i can i i sense your vibration is changing this is the way not that you your experience changing <clears throat> no your vibration changes when you your focus changes not your experience you know and the funny thing is that you cannot experience the change of vibration so easily because you are it you know this is uh, this is avoiding in yourself not touching any experience means avoiding in yourself no there is no after this there is no after this although a lot happens but for you nothing happens because your relation remains same you know you may forget this and you may might be reminded again in session but the same thing not different things not because you are feeling like this today so something else has to be taught today you know you know because this is fundamental fundamentals don't change eh do you see what i mean so now try to lose or like to something so that it become clear that your understanding is clear Try, try and lose it, and still I will make sure that that you don't lose it. No? So try and lose it now, because this is the only thing nobody can lose really. Hmm. So then this is an understanding. No? You are having experiential understanding that if you try to hold, then you will lose. Let's look into it. Why you will lose when you try to hold? then you go in the mind yes mind basically is a model not like a place you know it's a mode you go in the mind mode you know yes so it is true that that self is effortless you know but it is also true that the effort there is a effort necessary to recognize it in the beginning otherwise you will effortlessly live in the ego model you know so it is it is true also that a effort is necessary let's not be confused about it so put all the efforts to be to remain clear about this simple thing experientially and the mind model will be highlighted more and more now you know because all of a sudden that model will not disappear meaning your habit will not disappear to be in that model so whenever it is highlighted just remain very alert that aha again that mind model got activated do nothing you know just being aware that okay but but at at somehow very quickly you will become clear that even my relation with the mind model and functioning through this remain same i am present and it is happening which is the experience because is there anything which you experience which you report inside you and is not a experience you know except you is there anything like this so why we have to have so many divisions that right now i am feeling mind 
or right now i'm feeling thoughts or right now i'm feeling emotion why we have to do that from this point of view from this perspective where we are right now we don't have to do any of these things and then you just have one fundamental division you and everything else no you just abide in yourself that's all and remain happy forever you will get chance to come to the mind level body level and rejoice here but not right now not right now right now is the time to be isolated in yourself for sufficient amount of time no live in live, live in the vibration of yourself of this presence that you are for sufficient amount of time no? because there is a there is a big surprise for you after some time and that you cannot encounter until until you live for sufficient amount of time in this vibration of yourself the surprise is that 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 you were you were having a dream this is the surprise nothing has happened really ever you were just having a dream and it has to be experienced by you you cannot just memorize it no so just focus on this right thing so it's, it's good enough for now nice nice <laughs> Yeah, this is the simplest thing for me to to live with you, the truth that you are, your truth. Point to it and help you in living also. Other things are difficult you know, to discuss spirituality and you know many things like this. That's a kind of difficult thing. But this is simplest because it is already truth. It's already true. You are already true. You know. Just just maybe you need a right direction. right guy no who is interested in living this with you right now not discussing with you so much no and during this time at any point of time when you feel like you have lost yourself look again you will laugh how can you lose yourself like you have to be there to say that i lost myself so i lost myself is the experience you are having while you are still there this this one which you are while you are having a experience that i lost myself this one is real not the experience and like this again and again become very clear that's all you are free you are a free being actually very soon like this you know do you have to do this like this because we have lived with the mind and taking care of the mind as if like a baby crying and continuously listening to it and feeding chocolates and things like this you know let's finish this thing now no less finish this thing and of and of you know negotiations with the mind you know what i mean you just don't move you know from your stillness of being nice nice anybody else can talk to me also particularly online friends because as you know the sunday sessions are for online friends mainly namaste raji hello kiran uh i'm coming closer and closer to tiru i'm in bangalore now <laughs> <laughs> can you hear me clearly Yes, yes, very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, just um, sitting in a place called the School of Ancient Wisdom in Bangalore. Wow. <laughs> and uh, it's truly uh, has some very beautiful ancient energies. And uh, to connect with uh, 
the Tiru energy of Ramana and uh, you, uh, beloved, is so beautiful in this moment. Yes, yes, it is very nice, really. All, all that has to happen in everyone is decision, really nothing else. I am not saying who will do it, but this is what has to happen really. All the energies, everything follows actually somehow. Even that which looks like going against you, is just serving you, the decision. There is um, uh, a, a deep feeling that I am close to home. You know, it could also be said like an experience that there is a coming closer to home. And yet it seems like I haven't entered the door. You know, so, I mean, which is again, I mean, at one level, I know it's an experience. And yet, um, it seems uh, uh, real. Yeah, it, it actually is a, quite a real, real experience. Not all the experience will 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 come in the same type, same category, no. Yeah, there are some experiences where the experiencer is so invisible, or you can say so lightweight. The purity of experience is so much present also. Because Kiran, ultimately, when the when the experiencer is totally absent as a separate entity from the experience, when the experiencer is absent from the experience completely, what is left? Only one, one thing, and there is no one to even say that it is one now. So there has to be some one left in the process of awakening to watch, to appreciate, to say like this. And that also dissolves slowly. That is where you are done with your awakening business also. Now what is, is what remains, remains. And that which remains does not really feel concerned about how awakened you, you are or not. All the bodies are happening in this which remains. How does it matter whether this particular body or this particular body gets more to see or experience? So, not all the experiences are same, but I, it, I can sense this is a nice experience, like a deeper experience, you know, subtler, subtler experience, that's what I mean. And it's nice, it's nice, really. Yeah. Because some experiences actually are produced by recognitions. They are more like side effects of recognitions also. No? Yes, say, say anything you want. It's... Um, it seems um, perhaps... Um, The only thing here is vigilance, perhaps. You no, know, like uh, there doesn't seem to be much one can do, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes. So, yeah. yeah. It seems like that. That that I don't know if you can call it vigilance or seeing that it's happening. You no, know, like the melting is happening more than anybody doing it actually yes this is also uh, true actually this is also true a, a true experience no? this also is experienced by beings somehow there is a secret of life which uh, we kind of don't know at first that uh, in the field of movement you can be either of them, one of them, 
either the object of perception or the perceiver either the object of awareness or the awareness of it you choose what you want to be and uh, beyond this but what is beyond this has no concern about the objects and the perception of it for for it neither the objects are there nor the awareness of it for it itself is the only truth which is beyond both so it is definitely better to be the awareness of the object than to be the object you know so if at all you are experiencing anything inside you body mind entity you ego be the awareness of it not the ego or the mind or the body yeah. because that is a middle point from where a sort of a switch over happens like like end of play or something you can think. freedom takes place from the individual consciousness to universal consciousness freedom takes place here so individual consciousness has to do this much being present without doing anything is same also in fact it is one step inward Raji, there is uh, one question that I am uh, actually it's alive. Is that in this um, call it phase, uh, Guruji says to go into the sleeping bag, no, and zip up. And um, you know there is, uh, you know, the focus group season is over. Looking forward to Peru and Goa, and then Rishikesh. I mean, one question that I'm really—it's very alive—is. Um, I mean, it's not like it's—it's uh, it's not a, a very serious debate or something going on, but just like a wonder that how much to be in the field of satsang in this phase, and uh, there is also the practical life and. Um, uh, because for example there's always a choice like i could have been in tiru for the entire time you were there and in goa so um but there also seems that there are some things to be attended to and um uh, it, it, it like the decision is happening it's not like i'm uh, too much thinking about it or analyzing but just wanted to present this and uh, see if uh, there is anything that uh, you can point to uh, or is there yeah yeah actually the the most fundamental thing is choice only choosing truth you no know, like this is really most fundamental so like you choose truth you find yourself in the office you still continue choosing truth there if uh, that is the best ground where truth can be revealed you will find yourself continuing in that office or work or anything if not that situation will change you know it may not be exactly same but some feeling coming to me uh, from this uh, story about it was about uh, mahavir no mahavir that uh, he said that i want to take sanyas like i want to go Like this, and his brother said, "No, you cannot go like this. Our mother is there, and uh, you know things like this, uh, and 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 I am there. So, like, you you cannot go like this. You cannot go until I tell you." He said, "Okay. Then let at least uh, until mother is alive, let let stay here." He said, "Okay." Then eventually, mother <laughs> passed away, and as they were coming from the ceremony. he said on the gate can i go now 
He said, are you crazy? I'm so sad and crying and everything. And you are saying that I go and take sannyas. You just cannot go until I tell you. He said like this. He said, okay. And now it became so difficult for his brother actually to live with the Mahavir in the same house because he was just sitting there, almost not in the house anymore. Almost not alive in the, in the house anymore. Just go, already gone almost. You know? Only the body, as if only the body is there. No? And his brother said, I think you have already gone. It was my mistake. Please let your body also go out of this house. Nobody can stop the desire of you know this this. Nobody, nothing can be can come in the way of this this decision of choosing truth. You, know? you care about this more. I think everything else will take care of it itself by itself. Mostly people have almost decided the path also, not only the goal. That awakening is equal to going to meditation classes, to satsangs, having a spiritual life, like scent, perfume, incense stick, you know, all of this, like total together. It is your assumption. Probably you are not talking about awakening. Awakening is life's project, not individual's project. You can just come in alignment with that by saying yes. You know? That's what I, I mean. And life is a design and then for some people it will be in the offices also, work also. Many people in fact. How many can, can afford to not work? No? For whatever reason, whether it is money or responsibility or family or anything. I think this, this I hope it makes sense or not. Yes, yes, it's very beautiful, Raji. In fact, one good example is that today my office colleagues were supposed to come here by 11.30. But, uh, you know, life uh, wanted me to be with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm so glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There, there were, Manu, Manu told me, you know, in their village, there were uh, two uh, brothers. They were, you know, uh, and then Chatri, you know, Chatri, like, brother, they were very, very strong, like, physical strength and very, very simple people also, like this. And uh, for some, by some, and they were rich also, but some misunderstanding happened and police said that we have to arrest you. And their hands were so big that there, there were no, what you call this, hand, handcuffs, which were fitting their hands. So they said, okay, we just take you like this. And they said, okay. So they went to, to the lockup and they were locked up inside. And in the night, they felt a lot of, like they felt to the brother, brother, it's very hot here. They said, yeah, it's quite hot. Let's go outside and sleep, no, in the in the, in the the air like this. But it was, it was locked, no, because they were in the lockup. No? <laughs> they called, hey, guy, is there anyone who can take us out because it's too hot here? Nobody listened. So they, they just opened the like, <laughs> <laughs> walked out of it and not running, <laughs> running away, just sleeping. And when the police woke up, they were like, oh my God, they ran away or something. They said, no, they were just sleeping there. Uh, okay, we are here. <laughs> <laughs> you just find your own rhythm you know, of the decision. decision. Rest, everything will regard it in one way or the other. You know? will give way. Life gives way, actually. Just stick to this simple decision, because it's fundamental. It's fine. A lot of stories today. Thank you so much, beloved. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Peter, you can talk. Hello, Raji. Hello, Peter. Um, really, really grateful to be here today. And um, listening to you today, I, um, you know, I'm having this experience of like a, you know, it's like a scene how normally I'm moving in some kind of vertical, trying to get somewhere and not noticing it. And then here today, I'm 
I'm recognizing being more horizontal, not knowing where to go, but uh, uh, yeah, it's it's um, it's very strange. I just it just seems like I'm seeing how this strong pull to always be moving in this horizontal plane, moving somewhere, and yeah, and I'm seeing it's just uh, <clears throat> it's in the imagination or whatever it is, yeah. Yes, yes. And uh, yeah, and I just I just find myself here going. <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? You <laughs> <laughs> see, it sounds so nice already. What the hell? You know, it already sounds so nice. Much more significant and you know, powerful than, than many, many you know, spiritual expressions coming from mm. speakers. Mm. Mm. Because we are somehow given we have given us a sort of a lifetime job in the name of a spiritual journey no mm. and we are just not seeing our own blind spots and we are just going to go like this kind for the rest of our life if we don't don't stop and see what's going on you know mm. that's why yeah, so much uh, is important to to really be clear what do I want out of this spiritual journey. No? Mm. It's kind of important. Mm. Like not to everybody maybe, but to many people it is, it is important. Until then, their energies are not aligned correctly. <coughs> They're more like searching for something which they have heard from someone, you know. Mm. Like I'm supposed to find the truth. Truth means what? Uh, and truth, no, the, the truth that everybody talks. Yeah, everybody talks, but what about you? How? What do you know about it? And only you feel silent. Like, oh, sorry, I, I, I don't know really. <laughs> you are in the race. You don't even know where you are going. No? Like this, uh, uh, quite a long time, this spiritual journey continues. And sometime even, when you have started getting glimpses of waking up, which basically means that, that, hey, let me just be here. Even then the impulses come that I will be left behind. Like I, I have done so much, uh, so many months and years of journey and you know, what about that investment, you know, because it, it seems like it's going to give me result any time. You know? <laughs> it's, it's, it's a very, it's like this, no? Like, like I think Guruji said, no, this that monkey playing football in my, in my in my dream, and somebody like that reports and comes to the doctor. Doctor says, take these pills and you will sleep well. He said, I will take pills from from tomorrow. Doctor said, why <laughs> like this? Because uh, they have finale, you no, know, today finale, and football finale is like a big thing, no. Like, how how can you miss this? Even even for, for you know waking up. So we are just all waiting for the finale to finish and the spiritual journey. And like this, postponing our, our waking up, which is simply appreciating what you are, where you are, what is around you, the ground under your feet, you know, the cup of tea. And your, your life begins now. Life of living, feeling, not knowing so much in the beginning. That takes time. Because our knowing tool is mostly mind, which is defining, not understanding really. Which is uh, expressing, not living. So your language slowly changes here. Your attitude is to live, not to explain. To, to experience, not to define. That's how all the journey is finished, by the way. It's not like, you know. So it's not that a particular type of people will see like this, oh my God, the futility of the journey. No, everybody. <laughs> Do you think anyone 
after investing so much money and uh, not money you know life on the spiritual journey can give up so easily only because you see i'm not reaching anywhere like this it's like you me and you are talking uh, where to go on this vacation uh, where where you are na uh, we go bali no no uh, we go bangkok oh, there is a nice place in hong kong uh, bangkok also where we had retreat you know like we are talking 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 arambol dharamsala and we get so lost in it that we somehow get caught up in this talk and we don't realize that hey we are not moving at all we are just talking and not making any decisions not moving from the house not booking ticket or anything i saw one very nice you know like comedy serial long time back no in which they ordered ordered a sofa come bed it was a new thing that time like i am talking about in 80s or something this serial used to come on tv and the the, the sofa come bed has not entered yet it has, it has come on the door the the salesman comes and you know talks a lot like this and then they are deciding where to put it and they don't have the actual sofa come bed yet but they are still trying to move it okay let's have it here and they are having a confusion like this and then they are moving you know like actually like as if it actually is there then the wife of the owner comes and she also cooperates and everybody regards the size of the non existent uh, sofa come bed and then the neighbor comes and they are they are just walking like 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 because they don't see anything and hey stop you you are going to step onto our sofa come bed like where is sofa come bed you know they say like this so where is sofa come bed is waking up part of chill until then rest of it is a spiritual journey connected to each other and all of the everybody is cooperating until the neighbor comes and where is sofa come bed oh you know like and you don't we don't want to wake up from this sweet dream the sofa come bed going to be here and on the left side will be my table on in front of tv you know like we don't want to wake up in time like we get into that kind of vibration or flow or something you know so you need someone who speaks that word not someone who you know speaks sweetly like someone who is interested in truth will really like to seek someone hey you just tell me the plain simple truth if i am stupid tell me i am stupid you know like this but how many people are interested in truth in this way how you know like at at this like the, the the urgency level is not so present people feel bad actually if you just say a little bit truth you know? so very nice i think i don't know we just so good that you saw this what do you want to say now i cannot hear you have some truth on somebody you hear me can you say again yes um like what i recognized was i had some unseen like um truth on individuals and didn't realize that me holding that was holding me yeah in and starting to see this mechanism when i hold on to some idea of somebody it holds on me it keeps me a prisoner yeah yes 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 totally totally so, so it's like uh this is where it's radical yeah because it's like <laughs> you know it's seen like i can't really hold on to anything because it holds on to me and it's um yeah being willing to be in the <laughs> this whatever to say that this void of wonder and unexplored moment to moment versus yes, yes. you know yes. popping into my these impressions in the mind and uh yes yes you know like i 
even here speaking with you now, you know, it's, it's, um, it's like I realize and I, like, I've never been in wonder in speaking with you, you know, like I've always had some plan and I got to get something. I know what it is and come on and help me with this. And it's, yeah. Yeah. it's not so, it hasn't been so much online, yes. you know, yeah. like looking together, as you say, <laughs> yeah, you know, in looking together and, is also uh, many, like you are right actually, but I just want to, say a little bit to everyone that looking together is not looking for looking together is exploring what is already the case you know? so looking together is what is already here and true you know like not looking for so when we look together we don't look for truth like searching you no know, we just just see like like a blind spot you have a blind spot hey where is my glasses they are on you, you know, like this. And you just somehow cannot find them, whatever sadhana you are doing, you know. <laughs> you are just not able to recognize. And I, I somehow present a mirror in front of you. And you say, well, so what about this? I'm not finding my mirror. Do you, do you understand the importance of this journey and like this? I say, yeah, yeah, just keep looking in this mirror. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. And you keep looking, keep looking. And suddenly you say, what the hell, you know. <laughs> like, hey, they are just here. It is really like this. Waking up does not consist of experiences in reality. Because who will care about experiences? That one which is not interested in waking up. That which is interested in waking up will count how clearly I am able to see now, not what I am experiencing. Freedom is not really outcome of sadhana. Freedom is recognizing that you are already free. If you don't hold on to anything. Now, this is what you said also, Peter. No? Like, for example, Peter, me and you right now, we are talking, let's say. But I am not talking to anybody else right now, let's say. Or let's say you are not talking to anybody else right now. So where are those people? Where are other people right now? They are maybe in the physical place there with their physical body and presence also. But where are they right now for you? They can be maybe non-existent like a reference only and when necessary they will be brought in the, in the front uh, what we call conscious mind and you will relive them, re connect, you know. And they remain in the back of the mind like this. This is the presence model. That in the presence model, presence always remains in the front. And the objects of the mind, they remain in the back, back, back stage until necessary. Whereas in the ego model, everything is in the front. All the objects are continuously alive and real for us. You know, that's the reason why the past becomes so real for us. We are continuously living those objects in the front on the front table, you know, like this. They don't exist really. Those people are not bothering you right now, you know. They bothered and gone, you know. But they are as if they are bothering me right now, you know, like this is the experience many people have. It is, this is, this is the thing. So that is the ego model, living the objects of the mind as reality and continuously, like uh, keeping them alive, like this. Because ego depends on the objects to cross-reference itself so that it can hide its, uh, its non-existence. Otherwise, it will come in the light. The non-existence of ego comes in the light very simply. There are objects. There is a seeing, the body, thoughts, feeling. Everything is there. Where is the identity? You know? Identity lives in the sense of doing. Let me do something about it. Let me do something about that. Let me do something about this. Let me do something about that. Yeah. In a plan, in a project, in a journey, in a goal. That's just, just here. Not anywhere else. If you're not doing anything right now. Yeah. 
Very nice, very nice, very nice, very nice to talk to you. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else can talk here or online also? Raji. Hello, Ekta. Namaste, beloved. Namaste, dear. Raji, I don't know what to say. It it just feels that now, uh, with every satsang that I listen, and even if I'm not with you in person, I feel I want to connect more with all the satsang more and more. As in... It's a feeling of that I miss you or I remember you and that every time I do, I connect to one of the satsangs. So <laughs> I just feel like asking if there's anything. It feels that you were just talking to me very, very directly and every question that's being asked is for me. I can't find my own question anymore of what do I ask him? So could you please say something? <laughs> something simple, first like my, of my choice and then maybe something which uh, you may, everyone can appreciate maybe also that they were able to do a, a poetry, you know? Mujko teri gali mein subah se raat karni kabhi isse baat karni kabhi usse baat karni like, I just have to spend the whole day in the lane of the beloved. Sometime talking to this one, sometime talking to that one. But I just want to stay there, you know. This is the whole thing. This is the desire of a seeker, actually. Let's say a true seeker or a seeker who, have, who has become mature now. That I just want to spend time in truth. You know. So this is my type of answer. And then maybe something... Uh, everyone can appreciate that that uh, just to be more practical, just be more heartfelt, truthful to yourself. Not so much like a standard seeker. There is no such thing as a standard seeker. There is no such thing really. So let's not really become too tightly coupled with the you know with the ways and you know things like this. You find your own own thing. Like you find your own need. And if you are able to sense that it is such a, it's a strong need, like a thirst to be in satsang, then be in satsang, you know. Let your thirst and your inner, you know, yourself be, be more, more judge, not your thinking and learning from others about these kind of things, no? About attending satsang and not, you know, like this. Like we never um, discuss with friends and people that I'm meeting my beloved too much these days. I think I should think about it, like control it in some way. Then why we we think uh, sometime about meeting our own truth and the beloved within, no? Like why we search, you know, sometime I'm not saying that you you are doing like this, but I just I'm just taking this opportunity. Like sometimes the plate, the cutlery becomes more important. That's what I mean. Not the chai. No? Even when you don't know how to drink water, your thirst will teach you. No? Or you have to follow some tradition, go through some training, how to drink water. Will that be important? When the thirst is not enough, then yes. When the thirst is enough, it will take over. You know, I, I told you, you know, this, this example that, that we had some guest in our house, friends, friends, guests, and they were kind of respected guests and like this. But somehow the, the lunch got delayed because of me and other friends. So we were not able to arrange things. Finally, things came up like the Many, many things we, we were planning to ma make for, for dinner, uh, lunch and nothing. We just made one vegetable pulao. 
like we, we did put everything into it and everybody was super happy that let it be let it come because we were hungry then it was put in front like in the center in one one big big you know pot or something and as we were I, we were bringing no plates and all like then i noticed that there were spoons already there and everybody took one spoon and started eating i never saw any such thing like 10 people eating from one big pot you know very uncivilized no? and for half of the time nobody even noticed except me and then they felt like embarrassed like oh you know like oh, sorry sorry you know like oh and we started giving excuses and all like this. was it a bad thing i think it was not the hunger was so true it took over somehow you know? i'm not really saying anything particularly to anyone that do like like this or like that but we are just exploring no? there was one sufi i remember some story you know that he he said that i had many many teachers and uh, one of them was a dog also he learned from a dog also he said that uh, he was passing from some place and there was a river and he wanted to have water and he used, he, he used to carry a bowl no? begging bowl and uh, he was about to fill his begging bowl with water so that he can drink then he saw one thirsty dog who just came and jumped in and he just floating and drinking water also and enjoying also he said that day i threw my begging bowl it's not needed my thirst knows how to drink let me just jump in no traditions are no you know no rituals or no no formalities are required no this uh, mine of nectar no? of immortality is inside us and all the time right now included of course it's up to you jump in drink as much as you want is 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 like it's nice to go or it it's it's very beautiful it feels um, the thirst is there and you're just quenching it it just it just feels that i've been thirsty for so long and finally i find someone who can really quench this thirst and now if i say that no i can have my water this way or only this way it feels very very silly <laughs> <laughs> and it's exactly what you said that you that cannot be a set way of it <laughs> it's true actually it's true it's all about degree of thirst no? how thirsty you are you know just something very very I don't know I just feel like laughing with you for some reason it's, it's for this satsang given the previous satsang I don't know it's just this very funny feeling of just laughing just laughing and <laughs> and I I don't know it just It's just there. <laughs> it's 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 a nice one sometimes. It is like being that you are is re- being released from the imprisonment, you know. Because there there are no particular ways to be free. You are becoming free like this. i mean basically you 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 actually have started becoming free in real in a, in a, in a true, true truly when when you stop counting your gains your spiritual gains you, know? you care about quenching your thirst more no?
if if we knew the way life is we would all become a big thirst whole of ourselves for god so that every bit of myself can drink it no, no other place for anything in this body mind feeling or anywhere at any other level Thank you so much, Lord. Thank you, dear. Tere rehmaton mein kami nahi, tere rehmaton mein kami nahi, mere rehte yad mein dil hai. there is no no limit to your blessings no for oh lord it just i am less careful i am less sensitive about towards them no you are giving more than i can handle it just somehow i am not able to absorb your blessings your blessedness no now tell me are you are you happy now <laughs> i mean i feel it's just a downpour of love <laughs> it's like just a shower happening right now <laughs> <laughs> i think today we can safely say it is ramana ramana shower enjoy my friends this is a very fundamental thing i shared with you also ekta and many of you who are with me for some time now somebody said that what to do you know when i come to satsang 
I said actually in the simplicity and innocence of myself that just uh, don't run away. You cannot do more than this really. Just don't run away from the next satsang, let's say, if necessary. And also don't run away from this satsang right now. How you will run away? By attending anything else? Attend satsang, not anything else right now. You know? Like this, don't run away from satsang. That's all one can do. Rest is a grace of God actually. The light, light of, of the beloved. The love actually. There are so many ways we save ourselves in satsang by maintaining a mental understanding of spiritual concepts, for example, by maintaining a spiritual journey, which is like seems like a collection of experiences and understandings, no? Like this. Like so many ways we find to not be here. You know? And there's only one way to be here. Be here, you know, when you know that you are here. Like, what is the point in not being here now, not enjoying this where you are? And you have yourself decided to come here, no? This is the way. And uh, this is the same way, Ekta, everywhere, not just in Sasang. In Sasang, we learn this, but then it is practiced everywhere, wherever you go. You have decided to work on a project. You know? Now work on the project. You know? What is the point in like, yeah, but, but, like, where is the place for being half hearted or divided? Where? Why? Like, are there two people inside you? No. No, it's not true. You know? just, just felt like adding a little bit, like a side note. I don't really teach so much things, you no. Know? I prefer anything which I share that you live it right now, not take or take it home. No? So it's very nice, very nice, dear. Let me just you disappear. Uh, where is it? Where I went to see you also. Beloved, Ekta is not online right now. Ah, so that's why so I was right that she disappeared. She re literally disappeared. <laughs> okay. You all are doing fine here. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm happy. I feel nice. Uh, nicely feel your presence, but if anything missing, you can, you can talk or something. You're fine. You are doing fine? Okay. I noticed that most of the seekers in the beginning want uh, want uh, me, like a teacher, uh, like me, to to join them in their journey, rather than joining the satsang here. No? 
but today i'm somehow feeling that if not all of you but many of you are actually joining satsang today and this uh, gives me very nice feeling of uh, contentment and uh, some kind of contentment you know? like something really happening you know? not just talking and you know? yeah i'm very happy um sometimes you know it, it's you see the like this cause of something very you know this thing sound really just what happened to people and you know that feeling uh that feeling limits some sometimes it brings you frustration as well um, yeah yes but i mean uh, it's not a question <laughs> because then uh, understanding is there just this kind of just present and it doesn't seem to go away yes yeah i think my yes is is fine actually i feel in the real satsang and the, i am sensing actually that if satsang continues through through me this body in coming years it will be different really because in in satsang we must take help in in recognizing the self and avoiding in the self you know rest actually is being done by some power which which is not in nobody's control really including what you said also that that there is a there is a sense that that the blessings are limitless but somehow there is a carelessness at my end you know and even this is part of that flow even this is part of that flow but if one can recognize you know, in truth in sasan no one can recognize the truth in satsang and and take help of satsang in avoiding in the truth nothing else nothing else that is the best use of satsang really because different characters have different type of manifestation of the same energies of body mind they are not good or bad in a way you know maybe they are based on some standards but in reality not in reality not really when let's say there is nobody on earth to judge you in any way what you are doing is right or wrong no it just the way it is is neither right nor wrong you know even including the frustration that comes sometimes that's part of it actually like like every day you are served lunch and every day you forget to eat, eat it and 4 o'clock you eat it and then that time it is already cold and you regret and some frustration comes one day it's fine there is nobody to blame and uh, like it's fine no? because you are enjoying the whole package the day you will not enjoy the whole package it will break it will break then you will begin by not regretting not feeling frustrated but actually you are actually already frustrated if you can fully live live this cold food that is enough punishment anyway you don't need to punish yourself more by being frustrated about it and in fact you are frustrated on yourself in a way you know so you are punishing yourself in a way live this cold food enough and with enough presence and you will feel like you will not eat again actually this you know Uh, being present really answers everything right there. Like it brings everything into one light. That's the whole thing, because we see things in different lights, different spotlights of the mind. Bring everything in the one light. Yeah, I'm like this, you know.
This is the like example you gave yesterday about the uh, letter B. Um, I've been feeling it with a very strong way. Um, there's no way to rush to give him the of life. Yeah. Yes. Nobody can rush actually. In this rush, that in this example yesterday we were discussing that this there's a caterpillar, and it is uh, very much into being caterpillar right now, you know, like this, until it hears some spiritual talk that your destiny is to be butterfly, and now the whole joy is gone. You know? <laughs> or when you are too much into butter, uh, caterpillar mode, you you change your whole whole wardrobe. You know, like you make order all the dresses of the size of the caterpillar. That's also not okay. You know? <laughs> like somehow we don't understand this. Any being who is conscious enough, or let's say who who who, who is destined to live, you have no other option but to really live spontaneously. Like things will change, so many things will change. Very few will remain same, and your wardrobe will again change. So don't order too much, you know. Like this, life is flowing really. It's not as we we think. You know? So nobody can push really, but what we can do is in the name of pushing ourselves to awakening or something like this. Is that we imagine, and like this, we say, keep ourselves from living what we are. That's the way. Like life, let's say, like we are just using very simple way language, not you know, like dictating anything. That, if at all, I, I can sense right now is that life wants you to to be the way you are, to live what you are living, to experience what you are experiencing, including frustration also. You know. So our mind model tries to save ourselves from the shock of the whole thing because this whole thing is creating some kind of disharmony inside you, and it is trying to save you by justifying, by explaining that hey, it is like this, it is okay as per spiritual standards, or it is not. You know, if you can live it in the simplicity of it, you are out of it, if at all. You you, you are supposed to be out of it. But in this whole process of being present with the way things are, one thing is guaranteed, your peace is guaranteed, your joy is guaranteed, regardless of what you experience, even if you experience you know, all this uh, contraction or anything. That's all, that's fine. It's like, you can learn one of the two things. One, that you learn all the answers of all the questions that life may ask you, or you learn that actually mostly life changes questions after that when you have learned. So then you have learned something very fundamental. Then you will not have to learn all the answers, you know. So this is what I'm saying. If you can learn that life actually is spontaneous, especially for those who are opening up to the truth. Those who are living in the mind, for them, experientially, it is not spontaneous. In reality, still life is spontaneous. No? So like, like this, we learn the fundamental. That, yeah, it's going to be like this. And also, sometimes like, it feels like I'm not being able to benefit. Um, you see, just to hear um, from an example from a few days before, I had a business meeting. It was didn't go down well, and after that, I was uh, left wondering that it's all my fault, I should not have arranged this and blah blah blah. And uh, something was saying like this this not thinking is wrong, something is missing there. And then, uh, then uh, thinking came like, Oh, it's all. I mean, not. It was not more than. It was more than more like seeing. Like it's all supposed to be like this. It's like I did not have done it that way. I was supposed to do something. Still, the strong frustration was there. Um, and 
next next day uh, those even more like i'm say deeper feeling that it just happened it was, it was it felt like it happened to someone else it happened it just it, it was just like seen from much more distance right? yeah and uh, the charge was not there anymore. they took uh, it took kind of a long time like a few hours of like really wanting to penetrate into what's, what's actually happening yes yes, yes. because uh, the constant feeling was that i'm not seeing what's actually happening i'm just explaining some things from here yeah yes. yes yes i understand yes yes uh, somehow here um, you know the attitude i feel i want to emphasize here that the attitude of a seeker of truth is very important mostly the attitude of seeker of truth is not correct it is mostly based in greed for experiences or states that i must experience peace always i must experience undisturbedness always you know like this that's your nature but not in the way when you are somewhere in between that's not going to be the case so we have to understand what is the thing to be done and you know so like if your attitude is correct then you will seek the truth of whatever is going on seek means by seeing it right away not like you know trying to color it or anything that hey i'm supposed to be peaceful all the time but i'm not right now but it's a fact you are not right now would you like to face the fact or would you like to impose your idea on it you know so this attitude when corrected you start facing the fact of every moment that's what it means to be present by the way and as you start becoming comfortable in being present it's not because that you are not fighting with anything so it doesn't fight back but it is because you become free from engagement with it that you start experiencing your own joy you you you, you have a own joy you have your own joy really you don't need any dependency on anyone like in the middle of disturbed flavor of energy inside you you are actually free to feel peace i felt that because yes. uh, you know while this was happening yeah i i could see that the part uh, that is aware that i am not seeing what's happening was free yes it was free yes yes very good this is good actually so this attitude uh, is good it then matter now because mostly mostly we have this misunderstanding in one way or the other that awakening is like a accumulation of many spiritual experiences into one like one big experience and something now will happen it's not really it's a accumulation of understanding or clear seeing not experiencing no that is somehow comes together in some way in some time that you feel like like a natural sense of wonder wakes up in you like like what exactly i am doing and why and where you know why i am not enjoying this cup of tea right now you know like the sense of journey kind of falls here i think this is very nice Okay, एक तो यू रोड में इट्स फाइन आई थिंक वी फिनिश्ड द टॉक ऑल्सो बट स्टिल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू टॉक अगेन वी कैन टॉक but i'm just happy to connect back and listen um so you know sir i can also see something very interesting happening that i missed you know the talk and um i feel the important part that you were saying you said something don't run away from the satsang 
and I think around the same time the internet kind of disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> and here I was, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> but I got the point. I got the pointing as well. So I just want to thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny joke. Like trying to find meaning in everything or trying to, you know, convert every meaning of everything into understandable you know language or something is more of more or less a habit actually not a need you know fundamentally nothing has a meaning you know like like nothing inherits any particular meaning actually from existence when it comes out of the formlessness you know? we give meaning to them based on what pleases us you know? like being a seer of truth is the, is the best spiritual practice. And some other time, the same guy will say, just losing yourself in the joy of the being <laughs> is the best thing. You know? <laughs> like no single standard. You know? <laughs> like this, we are giving meaning. The moment we stop giving meaning, the truth is revealed of everything as it is. This is what it means to see or to be present. That you don't give meaning to anything anymore. You see them as they are now. No? It will take some courage, nothing else. Because it's so different than how we imagine mostly when we are living in life. You're very nice to make that. Also, I think we find, we try to find the meanings of things when we are not able to enjoy them also. Like when I'm able to enjoy this chai, I will not really try to search for the meaning of what is the meaning of a good chai. You know? Like I'm kind of too busy, you know, in finding them, searching for meanings of things. So one has to be free to, to find the meanings of things. <laughs> I'm not free anymore. I'm too too absorbed, too engaged. Anyone else can talk to me also? Yeah. Um, uh, this morning, um, the sermon sitting, I am, um, what you said to me a couple of days ago about if you believe you are lost. You are lost, if you believe you are out, you are out. So I sat there and, and it was so like, there was heat or this or that, and it does. Uh, I didn't believe it. I didn't believe I was out. I didn't believe I was lost. And then, as I left and decided sitting, went outside. It was like a shock because I was spaced. I was. It's like for, for a second there was. 
It looks more dodgy than it's I was just I walked out as space. Yeah. And then and then it was an understanding that there was no reference point. And then I felt a bit giddy, so I had to move against the wall and I stood by the wall. And everything felt well it felt you know, it was right, it was, but now the mind is taking me that, telling me that I need a reference point. <laughs> and I just, this, that is, that is right, isn't it? I, that is my question about. So your question is that, is this okay to, to have this feeling that mind is now search, trying to search uh, for a reference point? Or what is the question? Actually, the question is, do I need a reference point? Because, um, I was space, but then it was like I felt very vulnerable as I sat on the, the, the wall. Then, you know, somebody wanted to have a selfie, and it just, and then suddenly I was like, <laughs> I was like, I, I felt I was like really present, and I felt vibrating with the, vibrating. I just felt I was a vibration, and I felt. I, I needed to protect myself, and and then came the thought that I need I need a reference point. Yes, yes. Like what you are saying, just for online friends, I can say that that you are saying that you experienced uh, being a space and very natural, and you know, like this in the silence sitting today, and uh, then then as, as you came out, you had this feeling that you need to. You need some reference to protect yourself or your body, let's say. It's genuine actually. It's just genuine. Like what is happening is that in this case, I come, your confusion could be because you feel that space is going to protect this body. It is true. But it's not going to protect this body as a space. It's going to create a reference point in the body, in the mind actually and through which it will interact with people and will take care of this body. That's precisely what mind is, a reference point to protect the body, no? Yeah. Because in the, on, the, on the map of time and space, you need coordinates. For that, you need that I am here. This I am here is needed. No? So it is totally, totally appropriate. Yes, I am here is always appropriate, it's pure. And from here, life can begin now. You can pick up your memory and like, you know, like this, as and when necessary. Whereas the, the emptiness, the experiencing of it actually is not so easily lost. Or you can very quickly visit back that, ah, I'm in space, you know, like this. This is fine, it's totally fine. Just that I'm going to take a little time. This is what I call integration. Because integration is the most fundamental thing that happens after awakening. And most of the people don't talk about it. You know? It happens anyway. But it just takes much long time. And one goes through in a very peaceful, nice manner with a lot of confusions. Unnecessarily. Not needed. Not needed. I think it's totally fine. Like it could be also that there's a resistance in the beginning for finding a reference point in the body, mind, because of a kind of, you know, for, 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 a, for a thirst that you have had for a long time, it has been quenched now and you feel like I don't want anything other than this. You know, because of that, there's a natural resistance also that is felt. Just remember, if you don't hold on to anything, you will stay as your, yourself, the truth, which includes the experience of peace and joy and excitement, which is like a childlike excitement. Which does not need to be increased, rather it, in a practical sense has to be controlled in some way. It's too much actually. And uh, just, just this much is enough. So even you don't hold on to this experience of peace or space, no? Because there is one part or aspect of you 
which becomes and unbecomes you yeah? that aspect will remain like this its nature will remain like this for some time that is the mind aspect of you which becomes and unbecome it can become a person and it can unbecome the presence by itself but you are actually beyond it which neither neither becomes or unbecomes the isness of you of yourself so let this part become and unbecome but in the beginning i can understand it feels like this it's all right it's all right as long as we are in the dynamic field of mind which is person and presence no? we have to practice enough to be in silence you know in fact in the same proportion as as much we go out so we must go in also to keep it in balance otherwise it kind of takes over some time and we almost forget how to come in you know so that balance is necessary but beyond that nothing is to be done beyond that you are you are what you are with beyond the experience actually whether you experience yourself as a space or not if you are your true nature is space it remains as still same even when you are feeling contraction so this is what is self recognition which is different than self and then the spiritual experiences self recognition and clarity of it remains intact like you keep living it continuously even when you are feeling contracted you know one part of you is free actually like so free that there is no doubt which enters like oh my god or panic or anything nothing happens like something has been finished forever you know almost like this so let these things be at the body mind level these things will happen and will be required be be normal gentle and uh, practical and how to say how to say factual truthful about them i always prefer that 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 one should be more like neutral and scientific about these things i hope i answered what you meant. yeah and am i also not uh, showing when i walk with you or anything like this same applies to everyone god doesn't change its fundamental to anyone for anyone really yeah. because for the god there are only two fundamental one fundamental division that is uh, formless and form unmanifested and manifested rest uh, fundamentals are also same it's about seeing not about becoming anything or creating anything and i can help you see also where the key word is letting go not holding on to <laughs> if you want ultimate letting go is the key if you want to make it permanent letting go is the key if you want to not if you want this particular experience in this flavor and in this intensity then holding on to it is the key although you won't be able to because the moment you hold it starts kind of you know the, the thing is start dying somehow you know so not that you can succeed but at least you can imagine even normal experience you are just enjoying let's say abhi were enjoying this street food yesterday you are enjoying this issue and you want it to be permanent forever you have already spoiled it you have already stopped enjoying it right now you know so nobody can really add more to it just enjoy as much as you can right now it's all because of the presence of mind talking thinking and all of this which takes away our kind of experientially it takes away our self from where we are So is this fine like Yes I I see I'm I'm responding to yeah. the deep space Yes 
which is very natural it's not your fault but uh, it is nice to see also very nice to see also i do understand it it kind of takes some time that we will get adjusted to this 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 deeper letting go because we we still feel that oh i i'm free from everything i'm not holding on to anything and life will show us also you know like this it is it is practical it is realistic it's not something like a fault of someone of you you are already very sensitive that's why these things are coming up no? that you are able to notice now so it's not a failure it's a success but the success in the ultimate sense the success in life is not holding on to but letting go life merges with life worries vanish completely concerns and on the superficial level of the body mind thinking and everything happens worries happen the character plays its role also because the way the character is you will respond accordingly talk think and like this but it's almost like nobody is attending it nobody means nobody being some sort of identity which just emerges like an instruction falls back you know you remain peaceful and spaciousness not like a space you know you live like a spaciousness like this ness is important part to understand which is like without identity you know like a space without identity you know <coughs> this is reality a space with identity is a experience of the ego of the reality very nice uh, anyone else can talk to me also Beloved, I think Klaus is raising his hand. Yeah, who? Klaus. Okay, just a moment. His physical hand, not the Zoom hand. Okay, okay. Uh, Klaus, I cannot see uh, see you because it's a small window and many people like this. So either you have to raise your hand in the option here next time, but right now you can talk to me. Hello. Hello. One, two, three. Hi. 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 Uh, about the presence, what's already here? Yes. I cannot grab it. No. Yes. The grabbing is in it. Yes. In a yes. way. Uh, and you say it's a let go. It's a let go. Yeah. And then it will, will reveal itself. Yes. Yes. As, yes. I understand you correctly. Yes. Mm. The mind tendency is to grab, yes. yeah, and to want, and to have, and to uh, whatever. Yeah. And it's it it makes miserable this 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 kind of tendency. This tendency to grab, yes, yes, it, it's creating misery. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, and there is no trick about it <laughs> <laughs> so the mind is helpless i as, as mind am helpless yes. you, you as mind can help it 
No, it cannot. It can. It is Thank helpless. You. Helpless. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Impotent. Yes. I mean. Yeah. One way or the other, this is seen by all of us. By this helplessness. So it's not that people become really, really in heart, they become devotee by choice. No, by force almost. <laughs> when they see I'm helpless. You know? Not out of fear for God, but out of sense of connectedness with the existence, the source. In this state where you see helplessness. You know? Or clarity also. It's not necessary that you have to feel helpless and smaller weak or anything. Clarity also then like, what can I really do, you know? But this, has, this experientially is very different than when it happens in the talks. And I'm very happy that you are experiencing, you know, now like this. Is there anything else you want to say? You know, there are two ways of uh, dissolving into yourself or dying into yourself. One is peaceful way, one is way with the bloodshed and fight. Like this. The peaceful way is to learn to appreciate your presence and start feeling the peace you know, of your presence and remain peaceful in that. And that is the same as dying into yourself, dissolving into yourself. Another way is the rest of the other ways, no? which could be even self inquiry. Self inquiry also is a lot of bloodshed in the beginning no? because it's like two people. No? One is trying to figure out the, what is this other one, you know, like this also, and many, many things. No? If you want to dissolve peacefully inside yourself, catch the peace and hold on to it. If you don't care, then catch yourself, not anything that you experience. No? That is like sharper than, than, than enjoying the peace, no? faster also. It's an ancient, ancient example that you put, uh, you, you, t you take some big, you know, vessel of glass and put a lot of water in it and uh, then you put one stick in the water. The, the part of the stick which is in the water looks like bent, you know, like curved a little bit. And you take it out and you see, hey, it's straight. And you again put, and again you see, this illusion is what is uh, removed in the simplicity of your seeing. Until then, there will be always jerks. You will be having panic attacks sometimes. Oh, my, my stick has bent again, and you know, like, like, like. You know what I mean? So you have to few times see this clearly. Like this. I, I, sorry, I forgot. Uh, Klaus said I was talking to you. Is this fine like this? Anything else you wanted to say? Cannot, uh, cannot hear you. It's fine. Like I, but I understood that. Oh. Okay, okay. I, I think just, just to to be with this kind of thing, it's it's good for me. Right. Now this uh, this is the most uh, kind of. 
this part that uh, many of us don't realize that truth has to be lived, you know, not to be discussed. For quite some time, for, for quite most of the part of the journey goes in discussing and, you know, trying to understand. You know. Trying to understand is like, like trying to make sure that this chai will be, will be safe for me to drink, you know, like this. And trying to define is like giving new names to it or new meanings to it also. And then finally, let, let me drink it. Let's see what happens. You know. The presence is that, that which we must drink. Presence is not like somebody's presence. Presence means you exist here right now. You, know. you do really. Nobody can say I don't. You know. And it's just not being given value. And this is the door into, into freedom, actually. Freedom from this body, from the thoughts, means, you know, all the confusions and everything. Freedom, but doesn't mean disconnection, you know. So it's a different thing. Freedom, but not disconnection. You can still use everything very well, but more like a user. You can use this body-mind like a suit, no? Like a, like a suit. Maybe not literally, but a little bit like this, you can say, in the beginning. Sorry. So I think this is fine. Anyone else also can talk to me if you want to. Because I, I know this, that, that satsangs were always and they are even now a place of living truth. You know, not really trying to define in different ways, you know. It's a place of living truth right now. You know? Together we are just living. But sometime maybe the things become a little different. Because of the audience, no? What can be more, more important and significant and, you know, beautiful than living the truth together? What can be more rewarding, actually? Yeah. Very beautiful story I heard, you know, from Osho one time, like in the video that there was a rich lady in Hindi, no, he, he said like, a, there was a rich lady who used to live with a housemaid, with a servant, old lady. And then she heard that there was a sadhu who came in the city, in the town and sharing satsang no? like this. She said, I want to go there. And she went there and she found it so beautiful, like nectar is showering like this. She felt very beautiful. While the, 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 Servant was in, in, in <coughs> at her big house. No? <coughs> then <coughs> the, the decoits came and they attacked the house to loot, you know, to rob all the gold and everything. A lot of money was there. And somehow this uh, servant sneaked out of the house to report, to inform the lady. And uh, as she was running away, the chief of the robbers detected. He said, uh, he sent one of the guy go, go with this, where she goes. If she going to report to the police and like this. So this guy is following this housemaid now. She reaches to the temple where the satsang is happening. And the, the owner, the rich lady, he just closed eyes and joined. And tears coming out of her eyes. And uh, this servant said, Mother, uh, we, we are being robbed. There are robbers, you know, decoits in the house. And they are taking away, putting, you know, they are taking out all the gold, all the, you know, silvers, all the diamonds and everything like this. And see, uh, the, the lady, rich lady, you know, lost in the, in the beauty of the truth, said, all of that is just fake. 
don't worry about it and the decoyed who was following listen he then ran back to the chief he said hey it's all just fake we are unnecessarily is taking our life for for fake jewelry he said really and he felt kind of angry no he said i'm not going to leave this lady <laughs> i'm going to kill this lady so he goes to the temple there he catches the lady hey you, is is this fake he said no it's not it's all real why you think so and then he tells the whole story she said no it's fake in front of this truth that i am drinking here in comparison of the truth that i am drinking here and he also then then asked her that can you teach me how to drink this this amrit this nectar of immortality in front of which even the gold and diamond becomes useless you know like this our mental knowledge understanding spiritual journey everything becomes useless as you start drinking this nectar of immortality inside you satsang is a perfect place for that actually if you want to drink it with you know i sometimes jokingly feel that it's always a good idea to hire another house next to your our house satsang house satsang place and put a board like meditator center or something like this so that anyone who is not interested in drinking that with right now we can tell them go next to <laughs> like anyone who want to do it tomorrow like go there you know? <laughs> and we will put a board there come tomorrow you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we are safe also like we don't have to keep anyone there whenever you come come tomorrow <laughs> because anyone who want to drink that to know that to taste that to any way you can taste right now and if you are thinking tomorrow tomorrow also it will happen the same thing tomorrow also you will feel tomorrow you know it's not going to be like okay tomorrow is like final day there will be no final day except today right now I feel it was nice. If anyone left, you can talk to me. Otherwise, we will end this session now. Yeah. Just. Uh... <clears throat> Yes, we will a lot of gratefulness for your invitation in, in life. You know? And I feel uh, I, I've learned like a lot of things and uh, be with a lot of masters. But maybe first time I felt like this, someone is really working in my life. And, uh, there is a lot of gratefulness. There is a lot of gratefulness for that invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. this is uh, this gratefulness is like indication for me that uh, somehow we are succeeding it's very nice great really is uh, it takes only alignment not effort so much only alignment as you are aligned you miracle happens you feel like like you know things start changing so fast in you although old habit will still remain meaning the mind habit will still remain believe in the mind mode will still remain and may play its own role you know when we are serving the egoic desire or ego then even the spiritual journey and the satsang serve that only and when we have become clear that i want truth and freedom now even your egoic mind will serve that now you know is serving already this is the funny part that we are so concerned about whether there should be like there should not be any mind or tendencies in me it doesn't matter really it may, what matters is that to whom they are serving now 
So it is very nice to hear this from you. What I share is very some something very simple. That's why there are not many takers of it. It is like that all the masters uh, were still inviting me, but um, I could not hear. And with you, I, uh, you shook me in a way that it feels interesting. <laughs> it feels like it was like that. <laughs> his body was born, it was like you just something like, but I could not see that and hear that. It is such a blessing. Yes, yes. Something happened in uh, in, 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 in Indian Indian presence that you start to sense that. <laughs> yeah. Actually, just joking. That to a, a stubborn being like you, a stubborn teacher like me is needed. <laughs> <laughs> Not a gentle being like okay, do what you want. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> I somehow find it very different now. It is more like, like a old relationship of love and friendship we had maybe, and we are just finishing it now. You know, like otherwise, why you would listen to me? You know, <laughs> like something I like this. I feel anyone who who is able to listen to the, such a you know a strange teacher, like direct teacher, there must be some love between us that you remember. Like it's all right, you know. Like it's not so much so so much other, you know, like this. It is amazing. It's amazing. It's it, it's so fulfilling actually. This whole thing, it just pays everyone really. No one is a loser here, including me. You know, I also get to drink lot of chai. So I mean, not lot of chai. Sorry, <laughs> like enough chai. Because Madhvi is also online actually right now. You're right. Okay. Welcome, Madhvi, to Tiru. We can end this uh, session, I think. Then, unless if somebody says anything. The, the in, then I, I just say in the end, and then we end this session now, that the invisible, you know, formless Lord has no one else to show off. That's why it remains hidden, you know, and it lets take us credit of its own doings, you know, whether it is my doing or your doing, you know. I find myself to be a seer. Not really a doer of anything, including the this session. No? I find myself seeing the miracle of life happening here, including me being stubborn, you being stubborn, and this being effective. You know? I feel I I have the privilege of being the witness of this session, not the doer of this session. You know, which is already more than I deserve. Really, you know, I feel so blessed actually. So that formless truth, God, really remains hidden from the senses, and mind, intellect, and seeing. That is only experienced in in my my absence, in my non-existence, in a way, you know, in my surrender to it, you know, that I am ready to be to not exist now, but I want to test you. I want to test you, and it is tested actually. It is not a philosophy. I am very happy. It is really a blessing of uh, Ramana Maharshi and uh, Arunachal and all the other masters actually who are present here in this uh, Tiru and in this world actually. And Beyond this also. Very nice. Thank you, everyone.
it was very very nice to the love you thank you beloved i will hope to see you again sometime